The first work, uh, this one, is called Last Duel. It's uh, one object, one bar of wood, which is composed of two different woods. The, the sculptural process is burning. It's not uh, building up somehow to obtain a sculpture, but it's uh, destroying somehow the material. In order to achieve this black, uh, and to transform the wood into charcoal. The idea of the work, of course, is present in the title, uh, and it's to have identical uh, extremities when you can only notice the difference between the woods in the middle where the wood is not burned, uh, but uh, the, the ends of the bar, the ends of the object become somehow uh, the same material or go somehow in the same direction. So this bar which can somehow allude as well to a minimal sculpture or to uh, a weapon, something w which could be used in a duel or in, in this kind of uh, uh, challenges. Uh, is, uh, is, is here uh, taking another meaning and of course can be interpreted also. Uh, it, uh, the, the individual can reflect uh, on, this, uh, on this object, on this very simple object. The second work is called The Four Corners of the World. I departed from uh, the object of the frame and I altered uh, the same object to, to, to transform it into a, a work of art. So uh, the frame itself is the work. It is not framing anything in particular, as you can see, uh, but it is composed itself uh, from four different woods coming from four different places in the world. So in this case, uh, the instructions which I give uh, are uh, to the framer and it's really the framer who makes the wood so I have no control upon uh, the result or upon the aesthetical aspect of the of the work. Uh, so in this case um, this is the version that was made in Beirut and so uh, of course there is the very big idea of uh, maybe framing a geography, framing something uh, much more than could be framed in a inside the frame, but there are also then um, uh, very pragmatic aspects that uh, enter and that uh, enter the work. So it's the woods which are imported in the country, it's the woods also which the framer has at hand and which he decides to use to make the work. So in this case we have maple from the north, we have mahogany from the south, we have oak from the east and we have beech from the west. And maybe uh, when you are at a distance, you think it's only uh, a sculpture or you think it's only a frame because the difference between the woods is not always very obvious. In some versions which I have, because this is the version of Beirut, but I also have uh, made uh, a version in Amsterdam, in Paris, uh, and, and in different, in Vienna. So sometimes you can notice more or less the, this difference between the woods. And then, uh, of course, the dimensions are a little bit uh, special and specific as well because it's 90 by 90. And uh, you, as a, as a, as a spectator, uh, also have somehow your image, which is reflected uh, on the glass of this frame. So you are also included somehow in this geography. And the purpose of the work was to revisit uh, notions of geography make them more malleable and not so static because if you try to place back on a map the countries where these woods uh, come from you would not have a square and you would not have also uh, the extreme north, the extreme south, the extreme east and the extreme west. You would have a kind of distorted uh, geography related to all these factors that uh, allow the work to happen. And then the third work uh, is a common work that we made together with Charbel, who is also my partner. So Muna was mentioning uh, the relationships that exist between some artists of the exhibition. And this is a work which symbolizes somehow these relationships because we revisited the work of Manzoni, Artist's Breath, and we uh, both this time blew in the balloon. So for him, it was an artistic gesture, a sufficient artistic gesture, just to blow, just to put the breath of the artist in this container. And for us, uh, what we did is that we 
put uh, the work in the plural form. So we both blew in the balloon and what is added, because we are both artists of course, what is added is the dimension of love somehow which was not present in the initial work. And there's of course uh, the idea that the work evolves in time and throughout the show uh, the balloon of course uh, deflates and uh, the breath uh, are mixed with the air of the exhibition and they mixed with the air that the visitors of the show are going to breathe as well. So we are sharing somehow this experience with, uh, with them.